Watching a live look downtown, a chilly night ahead. You can see it is gray and we just can't get out of the 40s and 50s. Steve's here with an update on the forecast. Steve. Rob, it's not just get your coat, get your heavier coat out again because of the weather we're expecting tonight and off and on before the weekend is going to be chilly at times. Let's check in weather watchers and uh, we got a photo and it's up around the loop and that is where Patrice is and checks in with us every day. It's only 49 degrees downtown if you're coming toward the city or the lakefront. And look at that thick coat. Your coat needed and is a thick coat of clouds. That's one of the reasons why we stayed so uh, cool today from the lakefront elsewhere. Here's a 50 degree temperature standing out. Some of the warmest weather we have. That's in Wilton Center. Dick Smurs checks in in Will County. Thankfully, it is not raining again in Peru in LaSalle. They've had over five inches of rain since the weekend. However, dark clouds to the west and Chris wants to know rain coming. Chris, I think there are some more light rain showers coming toward LaSalle. Let's talk about the headline of the evening is the frost advisory mid 30s overnight tonight and like Ed Curran had mentioned cover up the sensitive vegetation and plants that uh, can't take that kind of cold weather when it gets down into the 30s. So that's the first part of the weather story feeling and looking like winter around here. What else can we expect over the next several days? chilly again tomorrow. Heavy rain is possible, but I think it stays far south of the city. That's on Thursday. We'll check and look at the latest on that. And then it'll be chilly and blustery to end the week. Windy weather, especially on Friday. This storm that's coming next, like the other one, is a southern storm, and it will sort of skirt by the area. Here's the morning hours on Thursday into about 1, 1 30 in the afternoon. Notice most of the area north of the city may be uh, maybe just light rain like we have now. I think the rain estimate Estimates show that Cook County could get some light rain that's measurable. Most of it down around Kankakee, northwest Indiana. Rensselaer south and east looks like it's in line for the heaviest of the rain, like an inch of rain or more. But we have to keep monitoring this. I hope the rain doesn't fall in the Sal or Grundy, Will County, some of those areas that had a whole lot of rain over the weekend. Spotty light rain. We talked about Peru and LaSalle County. Maybe a few more showers drifting through that area. We are so close to getting warm. It's 64 in Des Moines. It's near 70 in St. Louis now. It's in the 60s in Minnesota, but that little pool of cool air won't leave us alone and it stays that way. At least the sun breaks out in the morning, but just as soon as we celebrate that, the clouds increase and they keep a lid on the temperatures and that's a little preview of that rain that's headed this way on Thursday. So tomorrow afternoon, about 55 degrees for the high that's in the city. Maybe a couple degrees warmer than that down toward Will County and uh, places to the west and southeast, but not much more. So to conclude this story, uh, one of the areas holding on to 40 degrees is in the city itself. Everybody else will have temperatures in the 30s overnight tonight. That's why there's that frost advisory. The 50s have taken over and are staying for a while until uh, next Tuesday. However, mm. bright skies over the weekend, Sunday through the Good. start of next week. You can find something positive. Please, some sun. There's Thanks. a little bit of hope there. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Yeah.